What's going on everybody? It's your boy Virus here. In for in with a good one today. We got Dark Recalculator. I don't know how either one of these people play. And computer in a one of one v one and it's I don't know if it's a best of three or best of five yet, but uh So <clears throat> Both players trying to just you know standard StarCraft like all our all the videos will all, all the videos in the series will be, um, let's just see what they do. All right, so interesting strat. He's putting his barracks out first before his supply depot. I traditionally like to go eight uh, supply depot like right here, and then put a barracks here, and then to start out. But he's doing it a lot differently. But hey, everyone plays this one way. Standard pylon right here. It's interesting who's gonna. It's interesting to find out who's gonna scout first. Um, a Terran versus Protoss. Terran has the advantage if he upgrades Stem fast and puts the push on the Protoss. But oh, this is gonna. This is going for. He's going for a late game. Yeah, he's going for a late game. He's 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 trying to get his economy up, and he's trying to go for a macro style. He's he's not rushing. Reclamator might be trying to rush. He might be depending if he get. This should be a yep, an academy. All right. Yeah, he's going for fast stem, and he's going to try to push. They don't know what races there are yet. For some, what a lucky guess. Or a map pack, one or the other. But still, good guess. He's on a. Um, he, he's got the advantage now because he knows what he he knows where he's at. He knows the race, and he's even got more of an advantage because this guy probably thinks that he's relatively close. But he got him in one try, which is really really odd how he found that. That almost looks like he was cheating, honestly. But. Um, traditionally in a 1v1 you will have somebody on the top or the bottom or you know it'll be usually spread out but it's not always the case so he's gonna turtle up and it looks like he's gonna go for fast drops uh, this guy is expecting the rush that's why he put a bunker right there regulator I can't say his name I was gonna say dark and dark and then his name's gonna be computer all right so so far, he's got 23 out of 34 PSI for Dark, 2842 for Computer. Um, this could go either way, honestly. It just it depends on what he's doing and how successful the drop's going to be. Because I know he's going for a drop, you can tell. And this is not in replay, so I have no idea. This is live happening, so people who do commentary usually do replays and then hide the replay bar. But they can still see what's going on, and they know the outcome most of the time. So, he's keeping his probe over here. Uh, he's probably going to put make his reavers or, or drops station right over here, so we can come in a different angle. That's my guess. All right. So now they know where both of them are. Yeah, he's definitely going for drops over here. That's the only thing I can think of. Unless he's going air over here, but he ain't going to go air. Why would you want to go air? Alright, there's the micro going on. He's trying to scout the back of his base to see if it's if it's able to be dropped on. I'm still waiting to see. I'm very I'm very interested to see what he's going to put here. I'm going to guess it's going to be a robotics facility, but he's waiting until he has the cash to do so. I mean the gas to do so. So he's going for a triple nexus. That usually indicates that they're going to go heavy uh, air. So I'm thinking he might go. There's no way he's going carriers. 
I don't know. Maybe he's going to Arbiters? I have no idea. I don't know. I've never seen a Protoss play like this, specifically like this. His robots are over here, so what's he doing over here? I'm thinking he might build a star points over here. Or maybe he's gonna build more gateways over here. He's gonna build he's gonna build some type of unit over here though. He might bring his mass from over here, and this is where all his key buildings will be at. Looks like he's gonna go for storm before oh, no no no, he got a robotics down. Whatever. Yep, gateways. So he's definitely going for his mass. His unit mass is going to come out of here because he expects the Terran to block him in and so he can't get out. So he's going to have... Okay, okay, I'm starting to see what's going on here. He's going to have his units come out this way. And, his, and, his, and he's going to have... Because he's expecting the Terran to block him in. Alright, I get it now. Very good play. He's predicting someone to block him in. However, he's not even blocking him in. So, if I was Terran, I would have pushed. He doesn't have that many zealots. You have scan. You know he's don't have. You know what he's got. I'm, I'm assuming. I would have pushed in right now. Maybe he's afraid of the reavers. But if he would have pushed in instead of went backwards, he probably could have made a GG right there because the Reavers wouldn't have been done yet. He could have broke through this and literally wiped out everything. I don't know. I think that was his chance. I think that it goes into the Protoss as his favor now. Does he have any air? He's, he's bringing up turrets to stop from drops because he, he must have saw with Scan his Reavers. So he definitely... Yeah, he definitely is preparing for drops and Dark Templars. And he's just trying to get detectors all over. He's going for a drop. It's not going to be successful. These cannons are going to be done by the time it gets over there. Well, maybe not. Uh, yeah. And, and unless he wants... I mean, he can't even blitz. He, he'll be dead, but nah. He's not going to get to his minerals. There's no way he's going to get to his minerals. It's too blocked off. He might be able to get one shot off, though. Nope. I thought he had two tanks in there. That's why I thought he was going to get it off. Or maybe he did. I just didn't even notice. Interesting play. They wanted to go to a mid-late game. He's starting to pump his units out over here. Man, it sucks I can't see what the production is. Like, I can't see how long it's taken. Tank is about to get smoked. Well, he had to target the tank directly, but does he have any observers yet? You should be having your observers. Get observers around the map so you can see what's going on. He's really turtling up. I don't I don't agree with this kind of play. From both of these guys, I Terran versus Protoss. You both want to rush. In my opinion, because big game is Terrence game, and but the but the rush, like I mean, but like you leaving a Protoss alone too long, they got more like things in a Protoss versus Terran to contribute with, like arbiters and carriers, and that, that stuff gets to be a pain in the ass. So I don't know. I is he gonna see it? I don't. 
No, he didn't see it because I can see some fog right here. He, yeah, I don't think he saw it. He might have saw it. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He might be. He might be clear right now. He's PSI stuck though, which is not good. And with Terran versus Protoss, you should be never having under a thousand. I mean, never have over a thousand minerals. And right now he's sitting at thirty five hundred. So he should be get. You gotta make sure you spend your money. And you gotta stay broke. And you just got dropped, which is huge. I think it's GG already. That's Jeej. Because he has so much time and he and he's almost maxed. He'll be maxed out if he keeps on massing. And and, and constantly filling up his uh gateways and everything so this is gg if he loses this then it's definitely gg he can't lose your main which is he's about to do because he's targeting his scvs He definitely just slowed the Terran down by a lot. And he is almost maxed computer. So. <sighs> this drop means it's GG. Honestly. If, if he gets it dropped again, it's over. He can't recover. He's starting to get broke now. He might not be able to recover now. If he, he can just get out masked. He breaks into that choke with some Reavers. What I like to do is when they choke, I like to use Arbiters. I would have my Arbiters by now. I love Arbiters. We're 12 minutes into the game. I mean, I'd be, I would be doing a macro mass right now and have Arbiters and recalling into their base. If a Terran, if I see a Terran choke, I'm Arbitering like in this area, like right here, or up here at this point of the game because. I know he don't have turrets there unless he's remade them, but he didn't remake them. So an Arbiter drop like right here, it's going to force him to use all his scans up. But I would even target the scans first. Drop like four Dragoons right here, and then when I recall four Dragoons, just target these individually, and then just get rid of them. Because he doesn't have vessels yet. Which he should have been had vessels with EMP. Vessels are my favorite unit for Terran. I need to get vessels. Every single game I have a vessel. Unless you beat me somehow before I get a vessel. But vessels are like... When I rush... Every 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 gameplay I play, I rush for vessels. So... If you ever want... If you're ever 1v1ing me, you know I'm going for vessels. As quick as possible. For... Detector for irradiate if you're Zerg for EMP and take all your shields down. You can literally EMP this whole area and destroy that. And a lot of people don't use it, but do you know how good um, the battery is? Shield battery for, for Protoss? You think about it. You're going to put Archons, and you want Archons, and, you, and you know, you're fighting people, and you have Archons at your choke, and you have a battery right here. You can, it's got 350 shield, right? Think about that. For, on an Archon, only 10 HP. But you can use that battery to charge it all the way back up to 350 when it was almost dead. And it's just... I don't know. I don't understand why people don't use them. I... I use them sometimes. Sometimes I use them. It depends. It depends if I need to. If I'm getting pushed. Let's say I'm versing Protoss versus Protoss. And I'm getting pushed. And I have arch Archons. I'll just have a battery right here and just charge them as they're fighting when I'm getting my choke pushed. So I'll put like a couple batteries. But that, you know, 
I mean, it's not like it's super overpowered, but it is pretty underused and it's more useful than people think. You're letting his Terran get back into it. I mean, there's no way he's going to come back and he's breaking. He's breaking through, so it's definitely over. He can't defend himself. If he loses this choke, it's go it's game over right there. But I thought it was I think it was game over a long time ago when I initially said it because of the waves what's going on. And why <sighs> I don't get it. You're going to build cannons right here? Really, you should build those shield batteries right there so you can just keep on recharging your your, your arbiter. That way it doesn't die. Good status field on a couple of tanks. Yep, it's over. He's got to keep massing. I don't know what he's doing. He's at 173 PSI, but he's only got a little units at a time. He's focusing too much on the battle. You can even see where he's looking at. Nice G. Okay, it's GG. Good game to him, man. Yeah, GG. That was game one. I don't know if there's going to be another game or not, but I'll be sure to... 203 p.m., 109. Let me know if you guys liked it. Please leave a like, and I'll see you later.